today is a very stormy day and Kane went outside and got us bagels and coffee. Um, he got it from Essex Market, but this is so much better than yesterday's bagel because my favorite bagel is an everything bagel. So we're just gonna sit in the dark and eat our bagels on the bed on this very gloomy, stormy day. We have surpassed the storm. I don't know what time it is. It's five o'clock already. <laughs> I slept in until like one. But I thought I would do my makeup because I actually haven't done my makeup on the vlog in forever. And if you hear anything in the background, it's the fan. I cannot not have the fan on. And if you keep seeing the light change, um, it is because the weather here is a little bit crazy, even though it's really sunny right now. Just so you know, I'm super, super blind. <laughs> I can't see anything. Um, I actually, I'm not allowed to wear contacts anymore because I went to the eye doctor and they said I have abnormally thin corneas and I have something called keratitis um, on my cornea. So when I wear contacts, it's gonna, um, I get at a really high risk of getting an eye infection. And I actually had an eye infection for like a month and a half at the start of the year. So I just don't wanna risk getting any more eye infections until I get um, medication for my eyes. And I have just been waiting for the doctor to give me my reference to go see an eye doctor. So until then I will be blind and or I will be wearing my little sun sunglasses, eyeglasses, um, but I hate wearing glasses if I'm like taking pictures or like I'm outside. I just like hate the way that I look in glasses. It's like a personal thing. Um, and glasses are so uncomfortable with the mask because when I breathe, it fogs up, <laughs> it fogs up the glasses and I can't see anything. Um, so I'd rather just be blind. And I've noticed it actually makes me feel more confident because I feel like no one's looking at me because I can't see them. I'm very blind. Anyway. Starting off with um, sunscreen. This is a little tinted moisturizer, but it has SPF 50. It is a tinted moisturizer, but I don't use it as um, as any kind of like cover up, just because I like a full full coverage. But if you have like super clear skin and you don't really care about wearing foundation or anything like that, this gives you enough of like an even even skin tone. But I just love it for sunscreen purposes. So I'm gonna start off by applying this to my face and the SPF 50 really helps protect my face from the sun. Next, I'm gonna use foundation. In the summer, if I am a little bit darker, I like to use a darker foundation shade. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the color Venatu. It's a little darker than my actual skin tone, but when I am using tan or I am darker, um, it is it's the right tone for me. And if you guys have been with me, you know that the NARS foundations are the best. So I'm gonna blend that. I'm sorry if I'm invading your personal privacy <laughs> by being so close to you. And I'm using this um, IT Cosmetics stippling brush. I'm just gonna blend that out. Lately, I've been going over my eyes, which I typically don't, um, but just to like even even it out um, and have like a little bit of a base for eyeshadow. Although I have very oily eyelids and it always creates a crease unless I have eyeshadow primer, but it's like summer and I, honestly, I'm so lazy in the summer. I just like could care less because it's all gonna melt off anyway. <laughs> and sometimes if my neck doesn't match, so I think today it's a pretty good match, but I will carry it out onto my neck as well just to make sure I don't have any like blotchy spots or anything like that so this feels so light on the face i honestly love these nars foundations they're so good i hate the feeling of stuff on my face i like really really hate it but i love like a full um flawless finish so i really like this foundation just as much as i like the lightweight nars foundation too then for concealer i'm using my favorite concealer it is the nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade custard forever the same color i don't even care i can get like 10 shades darker and i'm <laughs> gonna use custard <laughs> um makes no sense but i love it so i'm just gonna apply it mostly in the front and then as you guys can see i have like a dark dark little spot under my eye um it's just hereditary i've always had dark circles so just gotta deal with that and then i put some over here and then put some in my little butt chin that's good enough for now okay. oh oops 
So now that I have the concealer, I am just gonna blend it out with my finger. And it actually brightens up my face a lot because my um, foundation's a little bit darker. So it gives me a little bit of like an open, open face. As you guys can see, it's like, whoa, I look alive, I look awake. That's the look that I like. Carry it, carry it on the nose. How was your shower? What? <laughs> <laughs> I actually never really use powder. If I do, I just put it under my eyes. And then the summer, I definitely put powder under my eyes just because I don't want it to melt because of the heat. Um, my makeup seems to melt a little sooner unless I put on primer, but I don't wear primer every day. So I'm just gonna put on some powder under my eyes only to set that concealer. Oh, I forgot to mention, I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Finish Powder. I've had this for so long, <laughs> it's probably expired, um, but I don't think it is. Then going in with my favorite life-changing product, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette. Just, ugh, I'm in love with it. It's so, so perfect. I love, love these two products so much. I go in with this tapered Sigma brush, not sure what it's called, um, F25. I use the bronzer make this face and just like to carry it upwards and I feel like this makes the biggest difference in my face because it really just like um, narrows my cheekbones a little bit and kind of like outlines outlines the look just like bronzer is meant to do but anytime I wear makeup this is the look that I do so I've mastered getting it done real fast Kane how long does it take me to get ready weeks <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> you fail. <laughs> bye bye. Gotta do the jawline. Carry it onto the neck. I'm very much happy being back in New York, even though it's such a short, short little trip. Um, I just, I love it here so much. And also I left all my stuff here, so I kind of felt very alone without my, <laughs> my things. But I'm not even planning on taking a lot of my stuff back, so that's like the weird part is I'm actually gonna leave most of my stuff here. But I do need to take like a winter jacket because I don't have any warm clothes in Vancouver, so I kind of need to do that just so I don't end up buying more. I'm gonna use this blush today. It is the Hourglass Ambient Moon Exposure Blush. Such a favorite. It just looks so beautiful on the face. Um, I only brought two blushes with me and they're both by Hourglass. And I just apply it to the apples. Blush is my favorite makeup product. Put it on my nose. Gotta have that natural. Like, hmm, I just came into the sun. Look, but it's all fraud. We all just lie. <laughs> um, but I love it. I love the look that it gives. Then I will go back in with um, the highlight and just highlight the top of my cheekbones with the same bronzer brush that I used. Um, just a little bit to give it a nice glow and kind of blend out the blush so it doesn't look too too harsh honestly this product is such a game changer i understand why people loved it for so long throughout the day it almost gets even better because it looks like a natural glow from your face um and it just doesn't it looks kind of like a cream cream highlight or a cream bronzer and i love the look of cream highlights and bronzer because i feel like they look a lot more natural even though they are like strong and they stay on your face um it doesn't look like caked on in my opinion but i'll just carry it onto the nose my lips and there we go we look we look glowy next i'm gonna do brows this is nothing new my eyebrows have always been the same so i'm gonna brush them up with the anastasia brow pencil i don't know what they're doing now they're just like they always look the same i feel like they've never really changed except there was one time where i would fill in my eyebrows with like a dark <laughs> i used to fill in my eyebrows i i was in 12th grade and i would just use a black eyeliner boy do i regret that i looked so like my eyebrows looked sharpied on it was not a good look so I'm never gonna show you that because I'm truly embarrassed by how that looked. Um, but right now, just do a little bit, enough for it to look 
natural but filled in. There we go. Light brush strokes. If you guys have an eyebrow pencil that you love, I think I just said pretzel. If you have an eyebrow pencil that you guys love, please comment it down below. I'm more than happy to try out different ones just because I love this one so much, but I know that there's other good ones out there. Like I've heard great things about the Dior eyebrow pencil, um, but I've just never tried it out because I don't know, but I also do want to try different things. Um, but I, I don't want to take the risk of them not working and then like me being unhappy and just sitting with a product that sucks. <laughs> Marc Jacobs Beauty is unreal. I love every single product that they have. I've never used a Marc Jacobs Beauty product that I haven't loved. This is literally my favorite eyeliner ever. It's so good. It's better than the Fenty, even though I loved the Fenty. That should tell you how much I love this now. It's so, so amazing. And I like that it's a dark brown, but one day I will try the black. Okay, this is very hard when I can't see. Actually, I'm gonna look in the viewfinder. I'm sorry if I'm super close to you. I can't do eyeliner, you guys. It's like the worst thing ever. We don't like that. Look at the lighting change. Oh, I'm like sweating so much when, I, when I'm trying to do eyeliner. Also, I've been carrying it in my eye. I'm doing a little, little wing. I feel like that looks too dark. Whatever, I'll fix it later. Do the other side. Make it look sexy. Do you guys know that that song by Kendrick Lamar? I love singing. It's called Element. I love just singing that one line. Make it look sexy. Like at the most random times. It's like my boyfriend's always like, what? <laughs> like we'll be in a grocery store and um, like the person will be bagging the items and I'm just, I just whisper to him, make it look sick because it's my favorite. I used the mascara that I opened yesterday and I liked very, very much. Um, it's the Pat McGrath one. Um, and yeah, I must say it stayed on all day. Very impressed with the quality. It is an expensive mascara, so I wasn't shocked that it was um, it was so good, but it was, it was nice to try a different one because I've been using the Hourglass one for the past year and I did switch it up and I used different like samples of different things. The NARS Climax mascara was probably the worst NARS product I used because it would disappear throughout the day. So it would literally go away after three hours, um, but this kind of stayed on all day. But I must say the Lancome Hypnos mascara is the best and so is the Hourglass, um, like the black mascara with the gold packaging. So Kane and I are gonna go to Soho. I have to go to Crate and Barrel because I actually have a really exciting video that I'm doing for a brand. I haven't done a brand related video in forever. Like honestly, I think it's been over, over five months that I've done anything brand related. So I have to find a flower shop to get flowers for the background. This is just stuff that I wanna do for the video. They, they haven't said anything, um, but obviously I wanna do a good job. So I do wanna go to Soho and Kane needs new clothes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not my words. Kane said he wants new clothes and Kane does not shop at all. We're in Soho. There's more options here for him and maybe he can pick up some new pieces. So it's a good day to do that just because we've kind of already like wasted half the day and um, it'll be nice to get out of the house and just walk, walk to Soho. No more storm anymore. Anyway, now for the lipstick, I'm using a Marc Jacobs Lanude cream lipstick it's the shade no angel i now have three of these lipsticks that's how obsessed i got after my dream girl dream girl purchase um so i'm just gonna put it on my lip sometimes i use a lip liner but not today but this is pretty much my entire makeup look. I've been wearing this makeup in any picture or video that you may have seen. Maybe I've used a different lipstick here and there, but for the most part, this is exactly the makeup look that I've been doing. Here and there, I'll use eyeshadow, just like brown tones, but if you guys were wondering, these are all the products that I use on my face. I'm really happy that I finally shared, <laughs> shared it with you. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do something about my hair and get ready, and we're gonna head on to Soho.
burger. Burger. Burger and fries. Burger fries. Make it look sexy. Thank you. Got a veggie burger and fries. I look like such a freak. <laughs> I've been home for a little bit, but I've just been sitting on my computer. I was just about to take my makeup off. Since I showed you how I put on my makeup, I might as well also show you how I take off my makeup. But we did pretty good. Today was such a weird day. Um, it really did not go as I wanted it to go. <laughs> we just ended up eating. I felt so disgusting and so full after the french fries and the burger, even though I didn't eat all the french fries. It's just like that much grease honestly affects my body so much. I wish I could like like eat all of that and feel fine but because I try and eat healthy um it really really just like upsets my stomach eating a lot of fried foods all at once um, but the pasta yesterday was amazing didn't feel sick at all after it but eating the burger even though it was a veggie burger and the french fries I honestly felt like death and we walked home so the walk was a little good and helped my digestion I'm gonna start with Bioderma I'm sorry if the light is awful in the bathroom it's just kind of what we're working with. Um, and then I'm gonna use a cotton pad. I love this little travel size, it's perfect. And I like to take off my eye makeup first. Also try and be as gentle as possible because I used to like tug on my eye eyes so hard and like basically pull out all my eyelashes. And then I'm like, maybe, maybe don't do that. You might wanna leave your eyelashes in place. We've all, we've all been there. <laughs> Or maybe it's just been me. But if I'm using something like Bioderma every day, it's kind of harsh. Um, and I actually have switched to different um, different eye makeup removers. I was using a Laura Mercier one, which was really, really amazing and really gentle. So um, I just decided to go back to this one because this is like an overall makeup remover for me and I can just use it to take off my entire face. And since I'm traveling basically right now. I don't have everything that I need. So that is one eye and I'll do the second eye. A little cotton pad action. Okay, it looks like we got off all the mascara and then we're on the third cotton pad. I also like to take off my eyebrows with um, Bioderma as well. And then a fourth cotton pad I use to take off my entire face. Since I didn't bring any other kind of makeup remover, um, it's a lot of cotton pad and like tugging action. So I try and be very gentle so I don't like, you know, pull up my face so much. Can't forget about the neck because we also put on some makeup on the neck as well. So basically this takes off so gross, all the makeup. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with a cleanser. I've been using this Yves Lom, Yves Lom cleanser. I love it so much. And I've also been using this little, uh, what is it called, Foreo? Yeah, the like Foreo pulsing face scrubber. Um, it's super, super gentle. It gives me the best complexion and I feel like it actually takes off all my makeup. So I made this wet and then I use the cleanser, do a pump on there. I like to kind of like smoosh it out because I don't want to put them all on the same spot. And then um, I also make my face wet. And then I just turn this on. I feel like this really cleans off any residue or any extra makeup that I might have on my face. Honestly, you don't get off all your makeup with just a makeup remover. Um, you just don't, like if you take your makeup off with a makeup remover and then go again with another makeup remover, you will see that you still have makeup all over your face. So I think it's important to use a cleanser and a makeup remover and have them be separate. Um, that's just my personal opinion. So I've been loving using this thing and I've actually been using it during quarantine, which has been a really good part of quarantine for me. So there we go. As you can see, I use it for like five hours. <laughs> I'm gonna wash this all off my face. So now my face is fully dry. I'm gonna use this Vigno Pure Serum, um, this Caudalie Perfecting Serum. As you can see, I am basically on the very end of this. Literally one of my favorite skincare products ever. And I put it on, I do like two pumps and I lather it all over my face. Um, I think there's hyaluronic acid in this. So yeah, I love it. It's honestly like my favorite skincare product for any season. It just makes my face not break out and look very healthy and feel very healthy. 
and it doesn't feel disgusting on the face like honestly i kind of hate some serums because they feel like something and it's just it's perfect it's i don't know a match made in heaven for me it's one of my favorite now officially holy grail products next i will go in with my moisturizer the laura mercier the perfect cream moisturizer has been a favorite i've also been using this Caudalie vigno perfect but i found out that this actually has an ingredient that kind of clogs my pores <laughs> kind of clogs my pores. I haven't felt any breakouts or anything, but um, when I looked up the ingredients, one of the ingredients clogs up my pores. So I have kind of switched back to this one. I love this one. It's so, so amazing. It's like a nice pink color um, and it's so light and wonderful and it gives me just such a natural glow. Well, I guess it doesn't give me a natural glow. It makes my skin breathe and like look and feel good. So I've just been using this eye face mask. Um, eye face mask. <laughs> I've been using this eye mask. It's the Hydra Essential Clarins eye mask and it's so good my eyes don't get irritated with it i have super super sensitive eyes um as i explained to you earlier today as well so i just kind of like pat this on don't feel anything at all um half the time i feel like eye creams don't do anything but i like applying this it makes me feel like i'm doing my part for <laughs> i'm doing my part for my eye bags um they appreciate it so that's kind of it um i don't i don't do anything else except put on the Laneige lip sleeping mask, but um, I haven't brushed my teeth yet. I'm gonna brush my teeth once I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm not gonna go to sleep yet. I'm gonna troll around on my computer. Um, but I also finish off my nighttime skincare with this Laneige lip sleeping mask. And this is literally such a staple for fall, winter, spring, and summer. There we have a fresh fetus baby skincare. <laughs> I'm gonna end the vlog for today and I'll pick up the camera tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have a more eventful day. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, we are sitting on some steps and I got an Americano with some oat milk, but I can't taste the oat milk. Kane is just doing his own thing right now too because we're both grumpy morning people and we need our space alone, so we just sit together and drink our coffees and don't talk to each other. <laughs> what a surprise, Kane and I got bagels again. I got a whole wheat everything bagel today with cream cheese. Hi guys, it's so much later now. Um, I basically had a whole day, it's like 6.40. Also, I never showed you. This is the beautiful vase that I got. It's super simple, but it's so pretty. Um, I got this from Crate and Barrel yesterday. And then today we went and picked up this bouquet of flowers. I chose hydrangea, hyd <laughs> hydrangeas and some of these orange, beautiful roses. I got this to put in the background of my brand video. And honestly, I've been so, so anxious all day. I ordered a pizza. I'm gonna show you the pizza. Oh, 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 I'm so excited. It's like my favorite pizza in New York is Prince Street Pizza. It is the best pizza I've ever had in my whole life. I need to show you. So I've just put it on the bed because I don't even care anymore. This is the cover. It's Prince Street Pizza, creators of the spicy pepperoni Sicilian. Oh, I'm gonna open it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <gasps> I have never been more excited to eat anything in my whole life. <laughs> Um, I, I don't think I can even wait for Kane. I'm just gonna gonna eat one of these little mmm. Oh my god. I think I'm dying. Oh my god. <laughs>